Good kitten internet, and welcome back. Oh, I need to move my microphone closer. I realized that at the end of the last video that my microphone was a little too far away, so it was a little quiet. So, um, where we last left off, we did a whole bunch of nothing in the last video. Uh, more specifically, we did our full mithril complement. I've updated stats up above, and I've finally taken uh, Pranolaris's, uh recommendation to highlight the stats that are being modified via rings in blue. Really wish I, they would have mentioned that earlier, I would have thought of that earlier because um, we're most of the way through the game at this point. Um, I'm not wearing headphones at the moment. Sorry, I'm, I adjusted the camera. It's a little weird. Um, I'm not wearing headphones at the moment because I'm still overheating a bit from being outside. We're supposed to have thunderstorms starting now-ish. Hmm. You can tell from over my left, your right shoulder. Um, for me, my left shoulder. For you, your perspective over to my right. Um, that it's still sunny outside. So... Uh, yeah, so let's start some more plot. But we defeated Red Baron too? Is that what you said, Ketchup? Yeah. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Once again, my minions have failed me. Are my soldiers that weak? <clears throat> yes. Oh no, I I mean they were strong enough. But Bowie and his force were smarter. No more excuses. <clears throat> this is your last chance. Kill Bowie this time or I'll kill you. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I'll I'll kill Bowie this time. I stake my life on it. Bring the jewel of evil back to me! Yes, sir. <laughs> you were right, aren't I? Of course. I can't trust Ketchup anymore. If he fails, you lose battle, Bowie! Mm, you want me to kill Bowie? Well, he's probably much stronger now. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll do it. If this comes to pass, it'll be his final battle. So, we have some more signs as to who Adai is. I'm sure that everybody watching, even the people that haven't ever played Shining Force 2, have already guessed about it. But, you know, it's a major spoiler. Yep, as expected, there's nothing up here. Just one, double check. It's weird that that cutscene happens here at the gate. Because I guess that's the only reason why the gate even exists, because otherwise you wouldn't need it there. Oh. All right. So. Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. <clears throat> Stop! Finally, you've arrived. It was a mistake to underestimate you. But the game is no not over. At the risk of my life, you'll proceed no further. Hmm, Ngoship is serious. He finally considers us worthy opponents. But we be careful. We must not underrate his power. You're right, Astral. Zeon doesn't trust me, thanks to you. This is my last chance. I can't see him again until I bring your head. Bring him your head. <laughs> Angry explosions. So, um, we've got some more enemies. We've got a dark gunner. It's the replace. It's the pallet swap arrow launcher. Um, they have a much better piece of equipment now. Their attacks 112. Still have Minotaurs, for some reason. We still have Dark Bishops, also for some reason. Ooh, that one has a Fairy tier. Uh, Chaos Wizard, Mist Demon. And we have Fluffies. Fluffies, as I like to nickname them, are White Dragons. 
they are flying terrors because look at that attack. Also, they randomly blow out snowstorms from their mouth. Uh, the first time playing, I never saw the snowstorm hardly enough. Subsequent times I did. Uh, we also have a Cyclops. The Cyclops is basically a better Minotaur. Let's see, 137, 51, 46, 5. Yeah, it's strictly better than the Minotaur. I really don't understand the point of the Minotaur being there. And finally, we have Geshep, who we finally get to see his hit points at MP. Uh, Geshep has 180 hit points, 120 MP, 140 attack, even though he only has a flail equipped. Oh yeah, and he has Freeze 4, just in case if you thought that, you know, things were easy. Geshep is not actually an easy um, enemy to fight, shall we say. Geshep's actually fairly difficult. So... Yeah. We have a work cut out for us, although there's nothing outside of the um, fluffies that we really have to worry about until we get to Geshep. Everything else is fairly standard fare. There's nothing particularly special. But, as usual, we need to go preach. Um, hmm. many people being boosted. Yep, and Jaha's regenerating MP. Alrighty. That's actually probably the biggest disadvantage of having a Master Monk is that I can't equip those mystery staves, but I also have 94 MP. I'm fine. Not quite close. Oh yeah, so mages, that's the first mage. You have five movement, one, two, three, four, five. You can hit there, okay. Noticing that ninjas have pathfinding. Hmm. Fluffy's moving forward. You have a movement of seven, right? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm fine. Okay. You're going to move way back there, because one, Bowie's still highlighted in red. Oh, I shifted over again. Darn it. Oh, crap. Well, I'm glad I boosted, because otherwise I'd be dead already. It's great. That attack, though. Mm. Um... So, it's time to try out some Aura 2. Got a staff. It was the only way I'd be able to heal Bowie was using this. I hope it doesn't break already. That would suck. It didn't. Good. Level 21. And Rick recovered one MP from the left. Nice. Uh, let's see, you are 21.16 now. Randolph. Yeah, unfortunately you can't reach much of anything. Road, you also can't reach much of anything. As well, aura that'll get four. Sure. 
20 XP? 25. First rock! This is Geshep's trick for this battle. Geshep has a trick in every battle that he shows up in. Um, you have Blaze 4 and Freeze 4 now. That is ridiculous. Ah, you're only missing Bolt 4 at this point. That's just impressive. So, I could just one-shot it. It's not one-shotting. But I think I am just instead going to deal with the burst drop. So, this is freeze four. Bloop, 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 bloop. 62 damage. Burst rock was defeated, but notice it hasn't disappeared. Burst rock exploded! So, when burst rocks die, they explode and hit a cross around them, so one square around them. That's the reason why I attacked so far away, is because I knew that I was safe that far away. Bowie, please heal up more. You, you can definitely use it, please. Thank you. Also, you notice that Bowie's sword looks different? That's what Levanther looks like. Levanther looks awesome. So, yeah. Um, this is actually going to be a battle where Archer Force is going to be to my strong advantage, because usually I can't take out Burst Rocks like this. Yeah, just there. Hellhound, Stabity. Oh, did not get cut off. But notice that the Gizarm also looks different. Oh, second attack. That is the cutoff animation. Hellhound was cut off! Hellhound was defeated. Full 49 XP. Nice. So yeah, instead of a critical hit, I just one-shot things. Doesn't matter what, unless if it's a boss. If it's a boss, it won't try to one-shot, it'll just crit instead, I believe. Or at least, I have never seen Gizarm trigger on a boss. I don't know if I've ever seen a crit either. That would be something interesting to figure out. Anyway, um, 20.44 for Luke. Yep, you're in right now, but... Oh, wow, Rick's going twice before Bowie gets to go at all. Uh, shame. Um, okay. Gotta watch out for those goobers, because they hurt. I think this might actually not be a terrible plan. And we'll find out. That's the reason why I saved stated. Uh, you're a sniper. You need to take out a burst rock. I really don't want to stand there. But I also don't want to stand there. I think it was just a one tile area of effect. Let's find out if it's a two tile area. It's a two tile area. Cool. Well, first, let's redo that. Um, Tyran has okay defense, and he's boosted. This is a bad idea, but I don't want to deal with the explosions constantly. Boom, headshot. Minotaur or Stabities. Oh, come on. Oh, I forgot to equip the different weapon, too. Oh, well. I always forget that type of thing. Yeah, I'm too far away. Sorry, right, May. It was probably not a safe state I wanted to do now that... Dodging that, too? Really? Ah, very dodgy Minotaur. I'm actually more concerned about the Dark Gunner. Yes, sir. Or 
power up some to get more XP. Road's level 20 now. Cool. Road recovers more MP just by moving. Fluffy's moving. Burst Rock's moved up. You have... Oh, you have an Atlas Axe. That's a Blaze 3. Did not notice. That should be okay. Uh, no, actually that arrow launcher might be able to one-shot one of my archers now. Uh, think about it. Animation looks familiar. I lived by nine. Cool. Yeah. This way I don't get hit. It makes sense, and I have plenty of MP. Die. Jaha's 25. No new spell. I don't know when I'm going to get Bolt 4. And that's the only spell he has left. Uh, so 25.17 for Jaha. Done. Okay. Kiwi. Please heal Chester up a little bit. Ninja. Oops. Welp. This is what happens when you have Giz Arms. Shoot the Dark Gunner dead. Tyrant can use some more XP anyway. Dropped a buster shot. Ooh, 50 XP, nice. And no attack increase. On the plus side, I just got the best weapons in the game, so I'm actually doing fairly well on attack. But, uh, So Tyran is 20.20. Okay, good to know. May is the one that's on low XP now. Chester, that mostly heals you up. Yep, you're going to have to just get used to seeing the somebody restores 2M magic points. Uh, not quite in range of anybody, so I'm going to fly back up. I am in the range of people. Yeah, that's what the white dragons look like. They look awesome. They did a good job with the art in the white dragons. Also, Slade did a good job in killing that white dragon by himself. Excellent job, Slade. You deserve that level up. HP 1. Attack 1. Yay. Defense 2. Agility 1. Just grab his XP level. Uh, 21.12... Okay, Janet. So, I would love to just walk up and biff that guy. I think that's really dangerous to do, though. Because I've got somebody with Fire 4 sitting right there. I'm gonna biff the evil bishop, though. I forgot to change weapons again. Oh yeah, so, here's a fun thing. So, change weapons. Notice that I'm outside of the area of effect. I can move back in and then not move back out again. It's a really weird effect from changing your movement speed part of the way through. If I remember it, there's actually a way to exploit this. Not give. Equip. Runex. Tack. I mean, the Rune Axe looks the same as the Ground Axe. has the same icon and so on, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Well, that's probably a really bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. 
May needs XP. That should give her a healthy amount of XP. Yep. Level 19. And you got an attack increase. That's nice. Unfortunately, boosts are starting to expire. 19.23 uh, for May. Not 192. 19.23. There we go. May is still the lowest level slash XP of the party, but our party's fairly close. Or no, Janet's the lowest. Janet's still 18, right? Yeah. Wolf Baron. You're going to sit there. Yeah, this is the type of thing I'm afraid of. Because May can't take two hits. None of my archers can take two hits. So, I'm going to try to take out that Mist Demon now. Before it gets a chance to attack. That way I have a good chance of living. Chester hit 20. No attack increase. Really, game? Why do you hate my archers so much? You're at 20.27. Could just freeze two, but no, I would rather heal. yourself. That's expected. That's why I went up and biffed the evil bishop. And more burst rocks are appearing, because of course they are. Like I said, the shtick of this level is a burst rock. Okay, now if I do take out this burst rock, it's going to explode. It will hit Chester, but it will also hit that chaos wizard. And I've got healing. Chaos Wizard, on the other hand, I could just kill. Nope, I'm hitting Burst Rock. Chester hits 15, Chaos Wizard for 14. Eh. Ooh, I only got one XP for that. Well, poop. I guess Jaha is not going to be doing those types of things anymore. Really? I can't hit any... I can't heal anybody with how far back Kiwi is. This is ridiculous. I think I need a movement up on Kiwi. Nah, that's not worth it. Take out Chaos Wizard. 34 damage is nice. It's not enough, but it's nice. What? Why are you going again already? It just went. <sighs> Grumble. Okay. Heal three. May, because she's nearly dead. Even though it would be a lot more fun to hit the two of them. Could do that. It wouldn't actually kill either one, though. I'd have to use Bolt to do that, so, eh. Healing is a better choice. Uh, and I keep slipping off of the middle of the screen. Naturally, I finally figure out where I need to adjust my head. This is actually me looking directly at the camera for reference, and I'm centered at everything. <sighs> okay. Healed. You're the higher level brass gunner. Shoot that burst rock, please. Boom! So yeah, that means Janet's going to get hit, but 
evil bishop gets hit also. Again, I have healing. Hit points are a resource. And I didn't want it to hit more than one person. Um, could take out the Chaos Wizard. I could take out the Evil Bishop. Um, let's take a look at levels really fast and I'm going to update my spreadsheet. For more precise numbers because things are a little on the tight side. And yes, I know you're not seeing the spreadsheet here. I'll just show it again. Uh, things are getting a little on the tight side for... Oops, numbers. So yeah, Bowie is still in the probably shouldn't actually get XP, or shouldn't really level up range. Um, Bowie might not actually kill the healer. Nope. By quite a bit, in fact. Oh well. I mean, it's still decent XP. MP went up, yay! Oh, um, I can use Levanther for Blaze 3, for reference. Uh, Tyrin. You're in the green range. I would really prefer Janet on that, though. I believe that will do five. Nine, okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, smoke rises from heat X, that's fine. 19. HP 2, attack 1, defense 2, agility 1, that's fine. Okay. 19.12. You know what would be neat is if I could actually figure out how um, RetroArch handles its save states and then just have all of these stats update on the fly for me. But alas, that's not actually possible as far as I can tell. I can't even figure out how it's handling its save states because it doesn't handle excuse me, it doesn't handle it in a normal way. So burst rocks can't actually attack, by the way. All they can do is explode. So it's actually fairly safe for me to attack burst rocks as long as I don't mind taking the damage. Um, hmm. you could actually, I'd be taking a little bit more damage. That burst rock's going to go soon. I'm going to take it out. Uh, so many messages from Peter. And I don't mean the character. I mean the person. Randolph's level 20. Twos all around except for agility, as per usual. See, this is why Randolph's doing fairly well. I mean, we have brand new upgrades on equipment, and there's only one character that has a higher attack than Randolph, and that's Kiwi, and she doesn't count. Um, Randolph is 20.37. And I should probably actually see what Peter's talking about. Samson references. Okay. Continuing on. This might actually be a fairly short battle. I might continue on further and show you the glitch battle. That would be interesting, actually. Um, I think this is going to be a case of using the white ring because I have a whole bunch of people that can use some healing. Uh, in fact, let's figure out who needs healing. So, Tyrin can use healing. Janet can use healing. Chester can use healing. Slade can use healing. Randolph can use healing. May can use healing. Bowie can use healing. 
right here will hit everybody except for um, Luke, which Luke doesn't need healing. Yep, this is the right spot. Use white ring on self. Oh, it doesn't hit. Ooh, actually, it's missing several people, isn't it? I did not think my cunning plan through. Oh, well. I think I'll actually go to here instead. White rain. Better get 25 XP. We healed everybody in that group. Nobody was healed for zero. Kiwi. Who can you heal? Oh, I can only heal one person. Might as well just do a heal one. Again, it's not down that far. Okay. So, most likely, and I personally don't remember anymore, I'm pretty sure there's another set of burst rocks down there. So I'm actually going to be mostly staying back and healing for a bit. Just get back into some type of rotation, at least. Heal up May the rest of the way, or almost the rest of the way. Get my snips up. Get my ninjas ready. Actually, ninjas going over here, because pathfinding... Oh! should mention what pathfinding is. So I'm using a term from the game Master of Magic, which is actually borrowing the term from uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, Master of Magic, by the way, is one of my favorite turn-based strategy games. I should do a video on that at some point. If I haven't already, I may have already. Anyway, um, the term pathfinding, so in Master of Magic, just like in Shining Force 2, you have different, I keep leaning over. I need to keep remembering that I'm not actually centered. Um, in Master of Magic, very similar in Shining Force 2, you have different speeds, or, um, terrain has different, differing effects on how fast that you can move. Uh, in Master of Magic's case, it's you have movement points and certain terrain takes more movement points to move through. What the spell Pathfinding does is it gives you Forest Walk and Mountain Walk, which means that you walk through both forests and mountains as though they're regular, ordinary roads. Um, so I use the term Pathfinding to indicate... Hey, look, this is an area that I can walk without any movement penalty. Did I seriously wake up fluffy already? No, I think they're just cycling. Okay. I believe... No, you're fully healed. You're fully healed. You're not. You're not. Okay. Over here is where I want to go for the aura. Not egress. No. Don't need to run. Heal up. And then there's somebody else still injured, right? You're down two. You're down one. Yeah. Not significantly. There we go. And the piece de resistance, my good friend Boost. Which unfortunately I'm not in a great area for anymore. But well, actually this is about the same as the start. Boost. Boost. So yeah, what else to talk about? Um... Basically, healed now only costs me effectively one MP. So there's no reason not to cast it every turn. Which, eh, it's not the greatest thing, I guess. 
Oh yeah, uh, is there a Fluffy over here? No, okay. So there is a couple of weirdness, uh, weird battles that are coming up. And that's the reason why I have to double check things. Because I honestly don't remember. Fluffy, yep. I thought I lured you properly. Hi, Fluffy. Blew out a snowstorm! That is definitely a sound effect that I've heard in many games. Hi, Fluffy. Meet May. May has some green stuff for you. Ooh, nice crit. 49 damage. Good job, May. Um... May is at 1988. Um, yeah, May is the lowest XP sniper. And everybody else is kind of in the same range. Okay. So I want to make sure I don't have any low hit point characters going forward. Because I'm going to be eating a Blaze 4. If not two Blaze 4s. So, luckily, this is Blaze and not Bolt, right? Yes. It's, oh, it's Freeze. Crap. So, I was going to say, Blaze has a shorter range than Freeze, and Bolt has a larger area of effect than Freeze and Blaze. So, I'm going to have to watch out for three movement. Your movement is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If, if they actually had full movement, I'm actually in range right now. And taking a Freeze forward to the face is going to suck. But... I don't think they actually have full movement. That's fine. I can take a hit like that. 15, yeah. 15 is fine. The heck? Oh, more burst rocks. Then, of course, the burst rock spawns right next to most of my force. I'll weaken the burst rock. Because I can't hit anything else with the Jaha anyway. That won't kill the burst rock. Some more inevitable XP. I can snip. Snip, snip the Dark Gunner. Snip. Snippity, snip, snip. Two times his life. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting to have happen. Uh, I don't think this is lethal. Nope. How does a rock dodge? How? It's literally a rock. Don't understand it. Uh, there's no good spot for you, is there? I'm probably gonna kill the burst rock if I attack, aren't I? Yeah, nope, not doing it. I need to get more people out of the area first. Now there's only one person left in the area, and that's a lot easier to deal with. First rock explodes and hits road. Oh, Randolph's also in the area. That's not that bad. May hit 20, though. That's nice. Good job, May. Yup, it's time. Oh, crap. This is gonna suck. Freeze 4 on the Slade. Ow! Oh. Slade needs bad healing. Well, turnabout's fair play, right?
bolt four. Sucker. Critical hit for 48. Geshef must be resistant to all magic. That's fine. HP three, MP two. Defense two, agility two. Wow, that was a really nice level up. Um. So. Okay, I think my best choice is going to be an Aura. Nah, I'm gonna heal. It's the person who can Aura has not gone yet, so I'm not gonna bother using up an item. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut on. We'll definitely kill the Dark Gunner that way. We'll damage Geshep at least. I just don't have me. I why would I use Levanther when I have Katon 2? It's the exact same effect, only without the chance of dying. Okay. You're going to go after the Cyclops, so they're busy. Randolph leveled up. Yeah, I know, I haven't been updating the spreadsheet. Uh, let's see, Randolph leveled up and May leveled up. So May is 20.36 now. Randolph is 21 point something. 21.0. Road. Road. Oh, road. HP 3, MP 2, Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 2. I can cast Aura 2 myself now. Everything's fine. You're gonna just biff Bowie. Is Bowie dead? How am I supposed to deal with that? You know what? No. Screw you. I will. I would rather take Road. I uh, have Road get taken out instead because he's going to get taken out from that. There's no way he will not be taken out. Or you know you can target Slade again. Slade's dead. Or at one. That worked. Okay, Road's being taken out from being punched in the face by a Cyclops. Lived. Oh, I'm boosted. That explains it. Okay, this is a problem. It's a problem that can be solved by judicious use of freeze. Or bolt three. Yeah, let's bolt three. Kiwi, please heal. You know what? Actually, yes. Go ahead and heal four. First time we get to use heal four, but it's worth it in this case. Fonk. Heal 61 hit points. Jeez. Oh, I forgot to move my healing waters in my inventory. Also, Kiwi leveled up. HP two, MP one, attack one, defense two, agility one. Kiwi doesn't have any more magic, right? Yeah, no. Heal four, blast four, dispel, and sleep. Bowent. Bowent against Geshep. Bowent. I'm trying to goad Geshep into using Freeze 3, by the way. That's the reason why I'm staying closely clustered. It's easy for me to say. Um, That's going to hurt me a lot more than it's going to hurt Geshep, isn't it? Um, I would be having a lot of characters take a hit. Uh, 
I guess stabbing's time. Let's take out the Cyclops while I can. Before the Cyclops gets to go again. Janet, go ahead and start hacking Gush up. Geshup gets a counterattack, that's fine. Also, those wings are freaky. Uh, yep, Broad's definitely dead. I couldn't do anything about that one. That's fine. Yeah, 56 damage. I couldn't have healed Road enough. There's no way. If I take out the first rock, I'm going to have three, uh, four characters take 15, and Geshup would take 15, and also leave that area open. I think it's actually worth doing this. Because I've healed everybody that could die from the burst rock attack. And it gives me more XP. Bowie. Bowie going after Geshup makes a lot of sense. I think Bowie might be able to take out Geshup, although ground effect, I'm not sure. Yep. One damage extra. Geshup was defeated! Bowie earned 49 XP. Bowie became level 23! HP by 2. Oh, no MP this time. Attack 1. Defense 1. Agility 1. When the heck am I going to get Katon 3? My traps. I'm, I'm at the end of my rope. I must escape. <laughs> please, please let me go. I don't want to kill you. You've lost your powers. I know. <laughs> you may go. Oh, sorry. You may go. Oh, hang on. Thank you. But we just moves out of the way. Walk, 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 walk. I won't forget this. Thank you. Walk, 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 walk. Uh-oh. Where are you going, Yashop? <clears throat> Do you remember your vow? <coughs> you failed to get the jewel from Bowie. Now you will pay with your love. No. Zeon is such an unfeeling devil. <sighs> oh, he'll do the same to us if we lose to him. Must not get be defeated. Alright. So, there's two things here that we're going after. Um, I'm not going to do plot first. I'm going to do the secret stuff first. So, you remember this village? This is the village of Yil. I don't remember. I think I used a baritone voice for Lemon. I'm guilty. Hey, there's Lemon. I've killed a lot of people for the devils. The guilt is too much to handle. You must die. <laughs> Gee, Lemon killed himself. No, Lemon can't die by jumping off a cliff. Lemon's an immortal vampire. But I'm sure the impact didn't feel too good. And now I have control again. So, um, if you ignore this hole entirely, you won't get Lemon until you're required to. Lemon is actually a required character, but... I can't believe it. I want to die, but I can't. You have to talk to Lemon in order to get Lemon now. 
Anyway, we were told that Yule was haunted. That there's nobody left here. No bunny. No bunny. I don't know why the Overland music is playing at this point. By the way, I have my headphones turned up loud enough where I can actually hear the music so I know what's going on. Uh, oh, too far. Don't want to do that yet. It's an interesting showing of how the game works, but we were told in Gallum that there was random piano music being played. A fine looking piano. Would you play it? Or will you play it? Sure. And something opened up somewhere. Nothing there. Nothing there. Something there. Ah, oh, Devil's finally found the hidden door. I must give the people time to escape. The priest pulls out a holy symbol. Oh, what's he doing? He's mistaking us for devils. What tough devils. My symbol doesn't drive them away. He's using turn undead. Excuse me, we're not devils. I don't believe you. It's exactly what a devil would say. But we really... Brother. Wow, I guess that's just what happens when we run out of sprites. Because we have too many characters in the order. Everybody turns into what Lemon looks like. Chaz, they found the hidden door. I tried to drive them away with this holy symbol, but I failed. Then they're not devils. Nobody but devils ever come to such a dangerous place. They must be devils. Have you asked them? How can we explain this? We are from Grand Seal. We're here to defeat the devils. Grand Seal? Really? Oh, wrong right. This is great news. Are you Sir Astral? Hmm, yes, but I'm sorry. Have we met? I'm Chaz, a son of Owl. So Howl, if you remember right, was the person that you, on the very first quest of the game, you were sent out to go speak with Sir Howl. And you saw him killed at the hands of Gallum soldiers, witnessed by Kazin, his, uh, whatchamacallit, his apprentice, I guess you would say? Chaz is actually the son of Howl. Again, Howl is actually a playable character in a different Training Force game. Do you remember me? Howl's son? Oh, Chaz! Yes, of course, nice to see you again. Pop, 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 pop. What are you doing here? Well, I came back to Yield to continue my father's work. Chaz, maybe you can answer some questions. I'll try. What would you like to know? Oh, this will be a great help. You can use the um, you can use the room below. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. And we're almost out of power, actually. So, this is where Heal is at. They're all underground, and now we're here. Wow, your story is so complicated. By the way, all of this is optional. You don't even have to walk into Heal. But from what I understand, Zeon is reviving, and all these disasters were caused by him. That's right. We have to find out where the Holy Sword is. I think I've seen it in a... I'm sorry, I think I've seen it in a book. Yes, I did, but I don't remember. It's important. Yes, because, you know, 
I don't remember where something is. It's important. You should really remember this. Is not really a thing that works. Please, give me a moment. Go to this one. Run, 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 run over to the bookshelf. Uh, no. No, that's not it. Let me go walk back and start paying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How about this one? I don't understand why you're walking back and forth like that. Ah, yeah, I've got it. Is that the right one? Yes, but, uh, but what? The most important part is missing. It's been stolen. I could have taken it. Oh, uh, we've lost the key. Not necessarily, Sir Astral. Believe in Bowie. He was chosen by the gods. Hmm. Yes, Peter is right. Bowie is our leader. Bowie, we have to find the Holy Sword and the door to the tower. The legends only hint of you, but we believe in you. I don't know why the legends are hinting of Bowie. That's not mentioned at all in the game otherwise. Maybe that's a weird translation. Believe in the power of your jewel. So, um, again, this is entirely optional. There's nothing that you have to do here. The ancient tower. Bloop. Bloop. Evil knuckles. In case if you want uh, Kiwi to be even more ludicrously powerful. Bowie, would you mind if I went with you? No, Chaz. You have to continue your work. I knew you'd say that, but I can't continue my work if Xeon lives. Also, as a historian, I want to see this King of the Devils. Well, Chaz will just follow us. You don't let him join us. Yeah, Peter's right. <sighs> okay. Chaz the Pegasus Knight. Hmm. I'm going to have to do a comparison. That's going to be another video, though, because we're almost at an hour. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I need to revive Road. Okay, Chaz has 81 attack and is a level higher. Okay, so let's go ahead and add Chaz. So Chaz is before Claude. Again, Claude's the last character for reference. Uh, let's see, we'll go with Chaz, PGNT, 19, 79. 0, 78, 66, 51. These should not be bolded because oops, I don't actually know what his high stat is. And of course, 7, not 8. There we go. I believe you were 29, and 28 will be a lemon. So, um, comparing Chaz with Freya, Chaz has way more hit points. Um, oh yeah, what's Freya's actual attack now? 83. I didn't update anybody else's attack yet. Um, so there's a five attack difference that probably means that Freya is actually a high attack, which is sad if that's the case. Um, 78, 66, 51. So Chad's actually has really good defense. That is tempting because... As we know, defense on a flyer is very important. Um, agility is a wash. Freya has slightly higher agility. So Chaz has both hit points and defense over Freya. And while the attack's 5 off, 78 attack's not that bad. I mean, that's... Let's see, of our four, 78 attack would be the lowest attacker of the force, actually. Okay, so maybe 78 attack is that bad. That moustache. So Chaz is, in my mind, the worst character in the game. So normally in Shining Force 2, Chaz is a wizard that you get here. Who has Freeze 2 and Blaze 3. And that's it. Try it up right. Ooh, quick chicken. 
I can definitely use some agility increase on Road. Holy crap, Road needs agility. Notice that there isn't even a weapon shop. There's no need for one. Oh yeah, need to revive Road. Um, we're almost done. I know I'm slightly over an hour at this point, but I want to show something. It's a sign of how the game actually handles things. And it's a really weird one, too. Okay. That totally looks like an exit, I swear. It's not. It looks like one, though. I mean, look at how the shadows work. That totally looks like it should be an exit. There's nothing over here, right? Yeah, there isn't. Now we have normal town theme. Let's go ahead and pick up lemon. Sir Astral, Bowie. Bowie, wait. May I join your force? Well. You can trust me, I'm a born fighter. As you know, I want to die. I'll die fighting for your cause if you'll let me. It's like, I'm gonna die anyway, I don't care who I die for. How about you let me die for your cause, because you don't seem too bad. Mm, he's a hero in Gollum, I think he should join us. Yeah, okay. Lemon, please come with us, you'll be a great help. Lemon the... Bronze Gunner. Okay. Apparently, Archer Force 2 just needed some more archers. Uh, are you also level 19? Oh, thank you. I know I can take the King of the Devils. Um, so. Timber. Lemon. Oh, Lemon's actually after. Whoops. Mm. Ah, Sorry, I have my mug of water here in the way. Cut. Taste. I'm in the RGN. You're also 19. You start with paper cannon. Okay, we're gonna need to do a donuts of donuts comparison. I'm hungry, but what do you want from me? Alright, so Lemon's actual attack is 78. Well, it's the same as Chaz's attack. Oh, that's not so great. Um, so, 63 hit points. 59 defense, 41 agility. Lemon doesn't look to be a very good character. To put it mildly. I mean, here. Let's do a quick comparison with our bronze gunners. Because we have three of them. Um, Taya, who is one level lower... Has a hell of a lot less attack, actually. But, again, I haven't updated Taya's attack stat recently with new weapons. But, still. Um, Lemon has fewer hit points. And effectively the same agility. They're going to get plus one agility on level up. And probably similar defense. Look at how much better Slade is, though. Sure, Slade is lower hit points, but only by uh, probably about 4 or 5, given that he's 2 levels higher. But that attack is 13 higher. That defense is 20 higher. That agility is two, uh, 16 higher. I'm not going to insert Lemon in. I'm pretty sure we have our last force. But what I may end up doing, just for fun at some point, is to see what happens if I have nothing but archers in my force. There are nine archers. Nine. What? Also, Lemon has the Dark Sword, which is one of the very few cursed items that I will actually use. Uh, so normally, what I do with the Dark Sword is I actually equip it on a Bird Brain. The reason why is as the best weapon in the game for a Bird Brain, uh, most cursed weapons are actually the strongest weapon in the game for 
their respective classes, but bird brains can actually equip the dark sword. So for an example, if I equipped it on Bowie, Bowie would have an extra plus eight attack. And keep in mind, Bowie's using a weapon that shouldn't actually be equipable by bird brains. So it's a huge attack bonus. And yes, cursed weapon effect is terrible, but so are bird brains. Anyway, what I wanted to show was over here. So you can encounter a random battle back here. This random battle is very, very bugged, to put it mildly. Um, it's supposed to be the battle from when you leave Yil to go to Sir Hall's house, way back at the start of the game. That is a battle that you can randomly encounter repeatedly. But the enemies don't match. Like, skeletons, lizard man, dark, dwar uh, dark soldiers. These are enemies from back on South Paramecia. That would be the more appropriate location to encounter on the map. Except, they also have a huge bat, which is actually from this battle. There's a bubbling ooze, which would also be from South Parmacia. Except that, I think what it's actually doing is that it's trying to load these set of enemies and are just using the last, uh, the earliest available set that they have of various enemy types. So you'll notice that every one of these enemies, we haven't seen a palette swap of them other than the bat. The bat's the only one of these that we've seen a palette swap that's better than. Uh, the vampire bat had blaze. But those are the only two bats in the game. So it's probably keeping like the maximum enemy in memory or something like that. I don't know. It's just a theory. Also, I think these enemies actually show up in the um, random hit an elf battle. Anyway, I just wanted to show that because I find it interesting. So let's go ahead and keep going for a little bit longer. Assuming I don't trigger a random battle on this side. Which I shouldn't. I did. Nope. So I guess we're going to stop here then because I don't want to deal with another battle. Um, technically, yes, that was more of a cutscene type effect. But that is actually an optional battle, believe it or not. Anyway, I will talk to you next time, Internet. Bye! Hmm, lighting's getting a little weird from this angle, isn't it? Oh well. Bye again.